ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Regal's Mystery Movie American Fiction. Now, the story with American Fiction is that basically a writer who is a very damn good writer, but he doesn't sell a lot of books, decides to make up a story of a inner city black man and his perils of his life, which kind of spirals into something. He gets paid $700,000 for the book and then another $4 million for the rights to the movie. But he was doing it as a joke and as kind of like a fuck you to the people who pander to this bullshit. And there's a lot of deep, deep shit into this movie. But I will tell you, if you've seen the trailer for this movie, yes, you get what the trailer is showing you. But there is so much more and so much heart to this movie. So the, the main character, Jeffrey Wright's character, Thelonious monk ellerson he ends up getting put on a leave of absence because he gets into it with a student and the student ends up leaving his classroom crying uh, because she felt the use of a certain word she was offended by it and him being a black man pretty much told her that if he could get over that word, then she could too. And then they get into it. You don't see their argument, but it's it's very interesting. It really does set the tone for this movie and what this movie is just trying to point out, the hypocrisy of people <laughs> who eat up bullshit and read into shit and overemphasize dumb shit. Uh... And uh, the, uh, 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 not, uh, not pandering, but the, shit, I don't know the word, I, d I don't, I don't know the word, I don't know the word to use in this, but the, the, how you can write this bullshit and the people will eat it up and turn it into some fabulous thing that people need to talk about. We, we need to talk about these issues and it's mostly white people that do it throughout the movie. It's just white people, like, just doing what the white people do. It's fucking dumb shit. But this movie is so goddamn good. It is a great story-driven movie uh, about the Ellerson family. He ends up going back to Boston. Uh, his sister ends up dying of a heart attack. His mom has the on stage of dementia. Uh, his brother is uh, played by um, Sterling K. Brown, who is absolutely amazing in everything I've seen him in. Uh, plays his brother, who's dealing with uh, finally being able to come out of the closet and be a gay man and what that brings in and feeling accepted. Their dad ended up killing himself uh, before... Uh, uh, Sterling K. Brown's character was able to come out and it's a real showing on how he has to adapt dealing with that he's writing this thing and this is kind of spiraling into something he doesn't want on top of dealing with his family dealing with his mom being uh, having dementia and dealing with a relationship that he ends up getting with with Erica Alexander uh, Coraline, which everybody in this movie is so goddamn good in their roles. It's brilliant. It is so damn good. And when I first saw this movie, I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, we, we have this. This guy's going to fake being a street to, you know, get his books. But the actual story behind all of this is so good and so rich and so deep. So he ends up making the <laughs> the publisher of the book change the title to Fuck. During the movie, he he gets picked to be a judge on this uh, for this thing for an literary award, and his book ends up winning the literary award, and 
he he has to make the choice of accepting the award and telling the truth. It's kind of cool how the movie ends. Like he gets up there, he takes the award and it cuts to black, but then it cuts to the director and him talking about that's how you want it to end. That's how you want it to just cut to black. And the, the director's like, no, no, we need more, man. Cutting to black, don't keep people in the seats. Like don't sell tickets. We got to have some more. So he, uh, he's like, well, I guess we could go like this. And then it's him getting, going back and reuniting with the girl. And then they have a love story. But then it cuts back to him and the director. And he's like, no, nah, man, we're not doing a romantic comedy. That's stupid. Why is that so stupid? That's just dumb. That's just dumb. And then he goes, oh, I guess we can do it like this. And then when he gets up, they go back to it. And he's accepting the literary award. And the cops come in and they shoot him because they think he's... Uh, the pseudonym that he uses on the book, they think he's a uh, a wanted a wanted felon and all this shit, and it, it's ridiculous. And that's the ending they end up going with. And it's this movie has so much damn heart, uh, especially between Jeffrey Wright and Sterling K. Brown. There is just so much heart and love. Between those two characters, they are so, so good. I actually, I think everybody on camera, even John Ortiz, who plays his um, his uh, agent, I think, have great, great on-screen chemistry. You don't, you don't, like, you immediately don't like, oh, they're just acting. But you actually think they're, like, friends and have been friends for a long time. Like, you feel that. And that that takes, one, a great, a very damn good director and some great actors to be able to pull that off. That you're actually invested in the story. And you do get invested in the story. I have to say, almost have to say, that this is one of my favorite movies of 2023 it's gonna be tough guys i swear on everything holy this is gonna be a tough uh end of the year pick this is gonna be so tough so many good movies come out and there's so many more movies to go to the end of december just i don't know man i don't know we'll have to see but where does this lie on my five star review scale the story is a five the cinematography is a three the characters are a 4.5 the design is a 3.5, which brings our total to four stars, baby. Woo! I love it. I hope you guys love this movie. Have you seen it? It doesn't come out for a while. Like I said, did you guys go to the Regal Mystery Movie? If you saw this movie, let me know. I'd sure love to have a conversation about it. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. I'd sure appreciate it, guys. Thank you so very much. Let's hit some milestones for this channel, and I will see you in our next review. Bye.